Hi and welcome. It's Ken here from LiveLink Training. Now as you create more brushes it's important to keep them organised. Now in Photoshop this is pretty easy to do. When you create a brush it will put it at the bottom of the brushes panel. So as your library grows you'll end up with a huge list of brushes to scroll through. Now what we need to do is create groups and these are like folders that we can keep our brushes in but it gives us the opportunity to get a bit of organisation into it. Now here you can see I've got a dirt brush and a scratch static but I've got three that are related to like watermarks. I've got my signature demo and my watermark and a, a different version of the watermark. So maybe it would make sense if I had a group called watermark brushes. Now down at the bottom of the brushes panel we've got these three little icons here. The trash can, the new uh, brush and the new group. And if I click on that it will let me create a new group. And I'll give it a group name, I'll call it watermarks. And then click OK. And this appears at the bottom because they do appear uh, alphabetically in this list. So now I've got a little group that's empty. So let's put something in it. Let's, I can click on my watermark one and then click and drag. And when I get that blue line all around the outside of the group, I'll let it go. And it's now put that into that group. And I'll do the same with this one, put that in there. And I'll do signature, put that in there. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, so I've now got a, a little subfolder with watermarks in. And if I wanted to differentiate between signatures and watermarks, then I could create a group within the watermarks group. And this is called nesting. So if I click on watermarks and then I right click, I can do new group brush group. And I'll call this signature. And then click OK. And then my signature demo brush, I could click and drag and drop it into there. Now it's not put it, I must have missed it a little bit, it's not put it inside watermarks. So that's no problem. All I need to do is to grab the signature group and drag it up and drop it inside the watermarks group. And now it's nested within watermarks. So I've now got a little group called signature with my signature brush in. And I've got one called watermarks that's got my signature brush in and it's got two watermark brushes in. See, how simple is that? Now from time to time Adobe, um, they take things out of photo. Oh, you can see, you can see there I've got my, my signature brush that we did in the last video. Uh, it's live, so I'm going to click on the move tool just to make sure that I can't stamp it all over the place. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, why? Every now and then Adobe decided to take things out of Photoshop and they did this a while back. Uh, and they took a, there used to be hundreds and hundreds of really cool brushes in Photoshop. And they're still there, but they've took them out. And you can see that we've, we've got a few general brushes. Um, and then these are all, all brushes that I've made. Um, now there is a, a little folder called Legacy Brushes. And this has hundreds of brushes and these are really good for you to learn about brushes. You can see how they work, you can go and in investigate how they work in the brush settings and start designing your own brushes. So basically they're, they're really good starting points for you. Um, and if you want to, to find them what we've got to do is go up to the panel flyout menu which is this little symbol here and click on that and then go down and select legacy brushes. And when you click on that, it'll say restore legacy brushes to the list of brush presets. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Click OK. And now you've got a, a, a folder called legacy brushes. And if we click in that, you'll see there are hundreds of them and they are really cool. We've got some default brushes, which is the soft and hard browns uh, and assorted brushes. Basic, we've got some calligraphic brushes. And all these are there and all you have to do now is to make your own folders. I keep calling them folders. 
I wish they'd stop changing names of things. Um, the, the new groups and then drag and drop brushes from any of these folders to populate your own new groups. And that's fabulous. And then if there's some in here that you think I'm never going to use, then you can just delete them. And if you wanted to delete a brush, you just go into the brush, let's say that one, you right click and delete brush. And there it was, gone. So now we've made hundreds of our wonderful, beautiful brushes and we've got them all in our folders and Photoshop decides it's going to crash. And if it's a total catastrophic failure, you've lost everything. It's really important that we back our brushes up once we've made them. And this is how we're going to do it. And we're going to do it onto an external drive. I'm not going to back up onto the, the, this computer because if this computer goes down, it takes all my brushes with it. So I'm going to back up onto my external drive. Now I don't have to back everything up because most of the brushes, like the general brushes and um, the legacy brushes, I'll get as soon as I get Photoshop back installed anyway. So all I need to identify is the folders with the brushes in that I want to keep. Um, well, I've got some brushes in and my brushes folder. You see, I've got some in there and I want to keep them. So I'm going to hold the control key down and click on Creative Workshop Brushes because they're mine. I want to save them. And there's a lot of work goes into making these brushes. So it's worth backing them up. And then my watermarks one. I think those are the three here that I need to back up. So if I have a failure, I can get them straight back. So when I've done that, I can go up to the panel flyout menu up here and I can click on export selected brushes. And that'll take me to a folder. Well, I, that folder is on my computer, which is where I don't want it to go. So I've got a folder called backups. And in that folder, I've got a little uh, subfolder called brushes. And this is where I keep on the brushes backups. So I'm going to click on that. So there's nothing in it at the moment and I need to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it the name. I'll put the, put the date, I'll say backup. And what's the date today? 22nd of the 1st, 22nd, oh, 01, 21. And then I can click save. And now if I go to that folder, let's go back to that folder, which is on there, and brushes. You'll see this is a .abr file. That is a, that is a, a brushes file. So as if I've had a total failure for the computer, I get a new computer, I get Photoshop back installed. All I do, I plug my hard drive in, I go and find this file, I double click on it and it will automatically reinstall all these folders with all these brushes for me and I'm ready to go. So it's worth doing this, you know, every so often when you think, oh, I've made quite a few brushes, just do another backup and then you could delete this one. Well, that's it for organising and backing up your brush files, which is really, really important. OK, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video. And if you're feeling really good, then please click that subscribe button. It certainly helps me through the YouTube algorithm to reach more people with my videos. And if you could do that, I would be very grateful indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.